Hey there, I'm meteorologist Tom Kippen. Here's three things to know for your Monday night. It is going to be very cold tonight across Upper Michigan with lake effect snow, and we're also going to have the wind as well, and that's definitely going to put a bite into the air. Here's future wind chills for tonight. You can see wind chills really getting down there, especially across the interior west. Double digit below zero wind chills for Ironwood and Iron River, and most UP spots tonight should see wind chills that will be falling below zero, and they don't recover much as they go into tomorrow afternoon. Future weather here. Eventually the lake effect snow is going to be setting up shop as you go into the snow belts east of Marquette and also into parts of the western UP and Keweenaw Peninsula. But as we go through the night into tomorrow morning, it's going to be the copper country and then the snow belts as you go east of Marquette. And then as we go into Tuesday itself with mainly a westerly wind, that's going to favor the Keweenaw Peninsula and then Grand Marais over to Whitefish Point. And then as we get to Wednesday, I think other than the copper country, we are looking at the lake effect snow shutting off and we should get back to some sunshine. All right, as we look at the snowfall here for the rest of the night into Tuesday morning, we'll stop it here at lunchtime. Two to four inches, maybe some spots, four or five pushing six inches of snow in the Copper Country, and we'll see the snow add on up a little bit as you go east to Marquette. And then as we move you into Tuesday night on into Wednesday, you can see the snow numbers continuing to add on up across the Copper Country, including Houghton over towards Copper Harbor. All right. What's ahead? Very cold tonight with lake effect snow and temperatures aren't going to rebound much for the daytime on Tuesday. And we're going to hang on to the lake effect snow in the Copper Country. And as you go into areas east of Marquette over towards Grand Marais and Whitefish Point, some snow for Thursday could mix in with a little bit of rain. And then we could have some pretty good snow around here, especially as you go into the western UP and Keweenaw Peninsula for Friday night on into Saturday. And along with the snow, as you get closer to Lake Michigan, we could be looking and in another situation during that time where we could see it mix in with some rain or perhaps some freezing rain. So stay tuned and keep up to date on the latest weather forecast for Friday night on into Saturday. But in the meantime, it's cold tonight. Temperatures will be falling back into the single digits for the Keweenaw Peninsula. Seven for Ontonagon, three for Lance and Barica. For the interior west, it's really going to get cold here tonight. Five below zero tonight for Ironwood, eight below zero tonight Iron River, six below Crystal Falls, three below zero for Iron Mountain. Into the south central UP we go. We're looking at one below for Powers, zero Rapid River, eight tonight for Manistique. Eastern UP tonight, lake effect snow here, nine for Sydney and Germfast, eight for Newberry, and ten above zero for Munising and Grand Marais. And then in and around Marquette County, we're going to have temperatures ranging from 10 along the immediate Marquette Lake Shore, two tonight for Ishpeming and Nagani, two below zero Gwyn, one for Trinary. For Marquette itself tonight, six. We'll have some snow showers, but I think as we get later on into the night, the snow showers should move east of Marquette. And then as we look at our seven day forecast here, clouds and sunshine still cold for Tuesday, 16, 25 for Wednesday. Some snow might mix in with a little bit of rain or a wintry mix for Thursday. And then late day snow, perhaps a wintry mix or freezing rain for Friday night going on into Saturday. Saturday snow, I think, would be for the first part of the day and then slowly becoming milder for Sunday and perhaps in the early next week. Escanaba tonight is cold two above zero and then chilly temperatures, cold temperatures. You want to call it for Tuesday 17, 26 for Wednesday, rain or snow for Thursday and then late day rain or snow, perhaps a wintry mix or freezing rain Friday night going on into Saturday. For weather anytime, head to our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com and we're on Facebook as well at WJMN TV and our 906 Weather Watchers page.